Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. I'm so excited to be able to show you all the best by Gabor. This is in the color Sugared Pewter. I cannot tell you how thrilled I am to bring you a gray wig and a short style because I get requests for these all the time. So this is really thrilling. Name Brand Wigs has been very gracious to send me this wig so I would have an opportunity to show it to all of you. They are a wonderful online retailer. If you've not checked them out, I highly encourage you to please go to their website. It's namebrandwigs.com. I will put a link in the description. They really are a wonderful resource, great retailer, lots of helpful, inf helpful information at their website. So please check them out. All right, everyone, if you want to know more about this super cute style, I'm going to show you inside the cap. I'm going to take you outside to see this color. I'm going to tell you all about it. So stick around. I'm so excited to be able to show you guys this piece. I absolutely think it is adorable. If you like short styles, this is a good one. Let's take a look at it from all sides. So I will give you one caution with this one. It has a very short nape. It has a 1.75 inch nape, but it actually comes in, tapers in a little bit at the side, which is why you can see my bio hair right here. I am growing my bio hair out right now uh, for a variety of reasons. Normally I do buzz my hair. If my hair were buzzed, this would not be an issue. So I want you to be very careful if you're not familiar with short wigs and you haven't tried a lot of them, you really do have to get to know how your hairline is impacted by a shorter nape. Anything less than two inches is one you really want to pay considerable attention to. I would say that if you have long hair that you can pull into a tight low pony and maybe put a little gel and a little hairspray to sort of keep your hair pushed to the side, that's probably going to be just fine. But if you're like me and you've got that sort of in-between length, it may be hot, hard to hide your bio hair if you get a color very different from it. If I were to get a dark brown color that or a, or a rooted color that matches my bio hair, that probably wouldn't be an issue. But I do want to point that out. It is just something to be aware of if you do want to try short styles. This uh, style is incredibly comfortable, incredibly realistic. I think Gabor um, doesn't get all of the accolades that I think the brand deserves. I absolutely love Gabor wigs. I love their fibers. They are very light and wispy. They kind of mimic finer denier hair, like somebody who has a little bit of a finer hair versus thick and coarse hair. So incredibly realistic. And my Gabor wigs that I have go and go and go. These fibers are hardy and they last. And if you get a short wig like this, you have just purchased yourself a workhorse. I really think this wig will last a very, very long time. It's not gonna get any friction on it because it's so short. I just think it's a great value. This piece has a full mono top and a lace front. Let's take a look at that lace front right there. You have a lace front that goes from, I'm going to feel the end of it from, wow, it's a really goes down far here to here. So you can do a lot of off the face styling if you want to, because you've got that fabulous lace front. And Gabor is made by the same manufacturer that makes Raquel Welch wigs. Their lace fronts do rival Raquel Welch in a lot of cases. They have great lace fronts. And this one has a full mono top, which means you can part this one anywhere. You can part it one side to the other. You can part it the other way. You can part it in the center. You can do like a little top knot with it. So it's parted on both sides. Just a lot of styling options with this one. If you want to have a full bang, you absolutely can. It's a little too long for me to wear as a full bang without trimming it. But if your measurements are longer than mine from your eyebrow or your eye to your hairline, you may not have to trim that at all, but you don't have to wear it with a bang. It does sweep to the side very, very well. The density on this one is perfect. It is not such a low density that it feels like thinning hair or like you have to worry about seeing the wefting but it is not 
high density. It also really has very minimal permatease. There's a little bit of tiny, I'd say a little bit of crimpy fiber sort of right around this area. It helps to give this piece style and a little tiny bit of lift. It also helps to hide the wefting. So if you're outside in a wind, you don't have to worry about seeing the cap. But if you are someone who does not like permatees, this one doesn't have enough for you to worry about. I will say it does have a little bit of volume though. I think they did a great job with the way that they sewed these hair fibers onto the cap. It gives it some nice volume on the top. So adorable. Let's take a look at this cap. So like I said, you have a full mono top and a great lace front, temple to temple ear to ear tab to ear tab. So wonderful. This whole area up here, hand tied, you can part it anywhere. Nice soft velvety ear tabs with the metal stays, extended nape, Velcro adjusters. Gabor caps are some of my favorites. I actually really just love this brand. I, I think people just don't know how good the Gabor brand is. And so I'm a real fan. Um, the, the fibers are called flex light fibers and that's because they are that sort of light and wispy fiber this is regular synthetic not heat friendly and i just a shake and go when i this is how it looked out of the box i did a quick out of the box for instagram and it looked just like this out of the box i didn't have to do anything at all to it so this is going to be an easy purchase if you want to try it but you're not sure you're going to know right away it's not going to be one of those wigs that you're dealing with a ton of box hair so and you can't mess with it so you don't really know you're going to be able to tell right away this one is just awesome i love it I, um, it fits me wonderful. Gabor runs very true to average. Sometimes, uh, a little bigger than average. Uh, they do sometimes carry styles in average petite and average large. This one is just a straight average and it fits me very, very well. Gabor has wonderful stretch in their caps, tons of stretch. And I have a 22 inch circumference and this is cinched in just slightly on me. So, um, I think 22 and a half will fit perfectly. I even think it'll go up to 23 if you're used to maybe wigs being a little snug because it has such great stretch. And I do get a little bit of extra cap up here, which is very typical because I have such a petite over the top of my head measurement, which means if you're even moderately bigger than me, look at that cap. If you're moderately bigger than me, this is going to fit you. But the way that they styled this piece, I don't feel like having that extra bulk up there or extra cap is detrimental to the style. I don't think it's obvious. It doesn't give me like a cone head, which can sometimes happen if caps are too big on me. Just keep that in mind though. If you are a petite cap size sister, uh, this is going to be a big on you, but they are so comfortable. And I think um, if you can learn how to make a wig smaller by sewing together a few wefts, you'd be able to remedy that really easily with this piece, super easily. I get really good coverage with Gabor wigs typically. This is all my bio hair here and it is long right now. And so I am having a little bit of trouble hiding it. But if I got a piece closer to my bio hair color or a rooted piece, this would blend really, really well because it doesn't show. A lot of it doesn't show. These ear tabs fall perfectly on me exactly where I like them, a little bit in front of and below my ear, the top of my earlobe, which gives me great coverage but allows me to tuck. So I can't, really you guys, the only negative I can think of to talk about on this wig is the short nape and how much they um, tapered it in right at the sides. It could make it challenging for some people to hide their bio hair. That's really the only thing that I would caution you about on this piece. Really fantastic style. Let's talk about color and then I'll get outside for you guys. Sugared pewter. This is what I would consider a salt and pepper, heavy on the salt, light on the pepper. It is a silvery white, sort of a silvery white gray. And then you've got some pepper sprinkled in, kind of a medium brown sprinkled in throughout. Very light though. It is not super heavy on the pepper. There is no rooting. So it is incredibly realistic looking and it just is very stylish and polished. I love that they use a gray 
ca uh, cap so that you don't have to worry about seeing the cap at all through this one since it is such a light color. Um, sometimes you'll get these sort of salt and pepper and the cap will be a little darker and that can sometimes be a challenge. I really don't think you're going to have to worry about that at all. A beautiful gray, silvery white with some light pepper. That's the way I would describe it. Beautiful. Let's get outside so that you can see this color outside. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And once again, thank you so much to Name Brand Wigs for sending this one to me so I can show you guys. I think this is a super cool wig. So if you're struggling with being hot, maybe you're having hot flashes like I am, or it's summer and you're just struggling with the heat, this is a very, very lightweight, breathable wig. And I also think it's a great one if you like to wear scarves and turtlenecks and high necked shirts in the winter. This is a great one because it's going to not be impacted by any of that friction it's going to totally stay out of the way and that is one of my favorite um, ways to wear these shorter wigs is when I wear high necked clothing I think it's so stylish looking and it just works so well so don't write off short wigs if you've not tried any yet there can be great times to wear them all right you guys that's it I'll get outside you can see this color outside and as always let me know if you have questions thank you so much for watching I appreciate you so much and please um, uh, check out name brand wigs if you have a moment. I do have a link in the description to this exact piece. Let's go. All right, everyone. Here we are outside with sugared pewter. Beautiful, beautiful color. Full sun. So you really get a good sense of how this will look in bright natural light. So thrilling to be able to show a realistic gray that is really pretty. All right, everyone, I really hope that that helped and you got to see what you wanted to see. Just beautiful. Thanks for watching. All right, everyone, here is the unboxing that I did for Instagram. I speed these up so that I can get them in under a minute. Really, it's just meant to show you guys what this looked like straight out of the box. You've seen all the cap features and everything that I'm going to show here. So what you're looking for is what it looks like out of the box. I know a lot of people think that reviewers mess around with these wigs and modify them to make them look good, but that's really not the reality for most of the reviewers that I know. It's certainly not something I would ever do to you guys. I can't imagine deceiving you and having you spend your hard-earned money on something that isn't being represented fairly. So here is what it looked like out of the box. Like I said, it was perfect out of the box. Hope you enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.